Okay, so today we're talking about cleaning your cat's litter box. Now, there are two different things that people mean when we talk about cleaning out litter boxes. The first being like the daily scooping of the litter box. The second being that every two to four weeks, emptying the litter box, scrubbing it down, cleaning it out, putting new litter in it, right? So those are two different videos <laughs> um, because that's, that's a lot of content to put into one video. So this video, we're gonna focus on the everyday cleaning, scooping, keeping your cat's litter box clean on a daily basis. So if this video is for you, well, let keep watching. <laughs> and at any time during the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So if you're new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And on this channel, the Pet Parenting Reset, we talk about all things dog training, dog behavior, cat behavior, dog and cat nutrition and enrichment, all the things keeping your pet happy and healthy and living their best life. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about our cat's litter boxes and keeping them clean on a daily basis. Scooping the litter box seems like a really easy task, but over many, 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 many years of having cats, one thing I have realized is one, I have scooped litter boxes since I was 18 years old. Literally the day I turned 18, I moved out, I had my own cat. I have never not had a cat since. So <laughs> that's a lot of litter box scooping. I've learned a lot and I wanna pass that information on to you because I know one, there are people out there who have never had a cat before um, and people who are like, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> and why isn't my why doesn't my box smell so bad? So let's 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 get some litter boxes cleaned out and we'll talk about it. Okay, so first thing in the morning, all the litter boxes are dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and get them clean. Hi huh, bud. Alright, you have to have a good scoop. Like the flimsy plastic ones just don't get it this is plastic but it's not flimsy it's um it's supposed to be like the best litter scoop on amazon i bought it a few years ago and it really is the best litter scoop i've ever had so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the very front we are you can see i'm not trying to scoop i'm trying to push so i'm going to start by pushing the litter back and anytime i hit a little bit of resistance I know there's a clump there, so I'm gonna be gentle, but I'm gonna keep pushing at the bottom so that I'm getting it up from the bottom. And I'm just gonna continue to do that through to the back. See, there's, there's another one down here. There we go. So now, that I've got everything pushed up off of the bottom. You can see there's nothing stuck to the bottom any longer. Now I can start to scoop. And when I scoop, you just saw, <laughs> um, I'm not shaking vigorously because I don't want to break the clump. I'm just kind of letting everything sift through. So I'm going to do that one more time so you can better. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see. I'm not shaking, I'm just letting it sift like that. Then I can dispose of this clump and move on to the rest of the litter. And there we got another clump. Just like that. And you can kind of see here, like I've got some not huge pieces. If I had shaken this, they might have gone through, but I want to get rid of everything I can in the litter box because I don't want it to smell. So I'm going to be a little more, oh, there we go. I'm going to be a little more gentle <laughs> and dispose of this and finish up. And now we're left with a nice clean litter box and we can move on to the next one.
sorry about my morning glasses, but um, this is real life. And I've just finished cleaning the litter boxes. It is really that simple, that easy. There is nothing, no clumps, no lumps, no little pieces left in the litter box because I'm not doing a whole lot of agitation with the litter scoop. Um, I am getting everything up off of the bottom without trying, I don't, I'm not breaking into a clump, trying to get it off of the bottom, um, which is why I use the scoop backwards to kind of push everything out um, and away from the bottom of the pan. It makes it super simple, super easy. I'm not dealing with a bunch of broken pieces. And this is the best way I have found to clean litter boxes. I am. I really hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you later. So there are actually a lot of tips and tricks for keeping a litter box clean from choosing the right size box for your cat, making sure that you have enough boxes for your cat, having them in the right places around your home. Lots and lots of tips. Uh, I have done other podcasts on this, so if that's information you are interested in, make sure you are following the Pet Parenting Reset wherever you get your podcasts and go back to the litter box tips episode. There's a lot in there. Choosing the right litter, of course, we want it to be as natural as possible, but we also want it to clump. Also don't want it to have nasty fragrance in it, okay? So keeping the box clean is paramount to keeping your home smelling like you don't have a litter box in it. <laughs> All of that said, one of the most important parts of keeping a litter box clean day to day is making sure that you aren't breaking up the clumps in the litter and keeping keeping those clumps intact, getting all of it out in one fell swoop as much as possible. And if you're not able to do that, if you accidentally break up a clump, that's okay. We can go back through, get as much of it out as possible. For me, I would rather take a big scoop, not the litter scoop, but like a, a big, um, but like the kind of scoop that you use for your fresh litter and just take a huge hunk of litter out of the litter box. Even if most of it is clean litter, I wanna get all of the not clean litter out. That is the best way to make sure your home doesn't stink and smell like the litter box. Also, if you have really picky cats, and first of all, cats in general are picky, but if you have a cat who just does not want to use a dirty litter box, a lot of cats will you pee in one litter box and poop in another one because they don't want, first, first of all, a lot of cats just don't like to pee and poop in the same place, but they don't want to use a dirty box. And I get that, you don't wanna use a dirty toilet, right? So if you're not getting all of the clumps out, if you're not scooping really, really well, it's gonna smell, your cat isn't going to appreciate it, and they may not use the litter box and go somewhere else not a good thing, right? We don't want those behaviors to happen. So keeping that litter box clean is super, super important. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I'm being too picky. I don't know. I don't think I am. <laughs> um, these, you know, my, my cats are picky and I am trying to keep them as happy and healthy and living their best life as possible. So, so again, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, something you would like to see me add. Maybe it'll be in the next video. All right, guys, uh, make sure you are following the podcast. If you're not already, again, it's the Pet Parenting Reset. Wherever you get your podcast, give it a follow. Make sure to listen to the episodes. There's loads of great content in there. Specifically the one, if, if you're watching this video, then specifically the one about tips for litter boxes, you're gonna wanna listen to that one. Also, Patreon. Guys, I created the Patreon for all of the wonderful pet parents like you who just want more. You're trying to do the best for your pets and more knowledge means you're doing better for your pets. So there's bonus content, there's behind the scenes content, you get loads of extra stuff over there that I don't post anywhere else. And the best part is you can join, join for as little as a dollar a month. Again, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, what made you click on this video. Love to know, love to hear that from you. Uh, what else? I guess that's it. Ha have a wonderful rest of your day. Please make sure to give your pets some extra love from me. Until next time, bye guys.